this video, I'm gonna be trying all the ways that you can get scroll wheel reset on controller. It's pretty insane. There's three current ways that I know of getting scroll wheel reset on controller, and you console players in luck as well, because some of these methods work for you guys as well. The first and my personal favorite is by using something called the strike pack. In the strike pack is this attachment that I have on the back of my controller that adds four extra paddles, but these are not your typical paddles. For some reason on these paddles, you're able to bind multiple buttons and multiple actions to a single one of these paddles. If for whatever reason I wanted to be able to like jump and build just by clicking a single button, I'll just click both of those binds at the same time and now whenever I click this single button, it'll jump and build for me. By using that same logic, I can set one of my extra four buttons to reset, which is R3 and left D-pad, which is confirmed. Well, it's usually a three button process. You have to click edit, you have to click reset, and then you have to click confirm. Turns into me only having to click the edit button and then just clicking this one single button to both reset and confirm. This is the only scroller reset method in this video that's not just one single button. However, I actually fully play Fortnite with this method. Anytime I'm playing the game, this is what I use and it is insanely helpful for like box fights and it's really just helpful overall while I'm playing. So even though this method is slower than some of the other ones that I'll be showing in this video, it doesn't require any extra software to be running and it's super comfortable. Plus, I mean, I get four extra paddles so I can jump, I can edit, I can reset and then I can also pull out my pickaxe all just with these paddles. The second method is also a controller scroll reset that works on both console and PC, but this time it's an actual scroll wheel. This thing is a physical scroll wheel attachment that you can place anywhere on your controller, and it works as any normal scroll wheel would, so you can scroll down or you can scroll it up, and it's gonna function as whatever you have your keyboard and mouse bind set to. So what I can actually do is set my building edit to mouse wheel down, and then I can set one of my weapon slots, like my shotgun slot, to scroll wheel up. What that means is not only do I have a super solid controller scroll wheel reset, but it also means that I can be anywhere on my weapon select loadout, I can be my four slot, I can be building, I can be doing anything, and as soon as I scroll up on this, it's gonna take me right to my first weapon slot, which I have my shotgun in. Which is typically not a luxury that controller players have. Typically, we gotta sit there and scroll through, click R1 and R2 to get through all of our weapons. And it's even worse if we're on a different weapon slot and we're building, because then you have to click your switch mode, go back out of the build, and then cycle through to your shotgun. So being able to have a super fast reset and then at the same time a dedicated shotgun button is pretty insane. And while I think this attachment is sick, it is unfortunately probably my least favorite of the three scroll wheel methods that I'm showing on controller in this video. It is a physical attachment. I think it costs about $37. However, the cord is hardwired in, so you have to plug it in separate from your controller. And I've only ever actually tried this in a handful of games, and it was really difficult for me to try to get used to it. I'm sure after enough time, it'd feel completely natural, but given my other options, especially my strike pack, I'm planning on sticking with that since I'm already used to it. The third method is actually the only free way to get scroll wheel reset on controller that I've found. However, it is unfortunately only available to PC players, and this is because you need a key remapping software called Anti-Micro to actually do it. In this, you basically just set it up so whatever controller button you want to be the reset, you set as mouse wheel down. And then I don't remember what exactly you have to do, but I think you go into like the turbo, you mess with this, and then you go into the settings and mess with like the key repeat. But basically, you keep this minimized in the background, you go into Fortnite, and it immediately works, and it's insanely fast. This is by far the fastest scroll reset in this entire video. I mean, just look at that. That's ridiculous. I'm not even sure that keyboard and mouse players that actually use scroll reset are able to do that. Now, honestly, I have no clue what the rules are on actually using this in game on controller. Epic Games themselves said that they allow key remappers, so keyboard and mouse players are able to use stuff like double movement binds. However, to use this on controller is technically a macro. Now, I'm not advising you guys to use this. I'm just showing it off. So this program is by far the fastest and easiest way, and like I said, it's the only free way. However, at the same time, I would definitely say that this is the most risky way as well. Regardless though, those were really just my initial reactions of each of these. I haven't actually used Pro Scroller or Anti-Micro in-game ever, so I'm gonna hop into a game to see how good they actually are, and then I'll decide from there which scroll will reset on controller is actually the best. Since building is still not back in pubs, and I'm not about to try to use these things in an arena game where I'll get absolutely destroyed, we're here in a creative match where I'm gonna be trying to use this thing. And right now, I am on the Pro Scroller. With the Pro Scroller specifically, I think this thing will actually be really cool for you console players. It's $37, so it's nothing like crazy expensive. And to be able to be on console with a dedicated shotgun slot and a literal scroll wheel reset is an insane advantage. The only reason that I'm not taking the time to actually learn this is because I'm already on PC. 
I'm already used to my scroller reset. It's already really comfortable to me, so I don't really want to have to relearn something. However, it is still really cool. I know for sure that with enough time, you could probably get pretty insane with this thing. And as you can see, it definitely doesn't interfere with anything else on your controller. It just adds two really cool features. However, I think that's enough of the pro scroller for now. Now we're gonna move on to the next. For this round, I'm just using my strike pack, which is the method that I know and absolutely love. And I think I love it because it just works so well. hit my shots pretty well using this thing all the strike packs range from right around the same price as the pro scroller they're about 35 to 40 dollars depending on which model you get i honestly think that both this and the pro scroller are solid purchases and they're both kind of good in their own ways It is unfortunate that it costs money to get scroll reset on console. However, if you really want it, the price isn't too bad. And both the pro scroller and the strike packs give added advantages as well. don't know how to feel about anti micro look at this i've been one button insanely fast reset so it's definitely the easiest it's the fastest and it's the only one that's free but just with how it works it literally feels like cheating however one kind of really cool thing about anti micro aside from the scroll reset is that it actually has options to give you less input delay and like i mentioned the rules around this are pretty unclear for the most part Honestly though, with this turbo mode, it's literally just a macro, so it continues to do it. I feel like occasionally I'm getting stuck in the edit just like that, instead of it actually confirming the edit. But like, I don't know, it feels fine, it just doesn't feel nearly as consistent as my strike pack does. These box ties are getting pretty intense on this. At this point though, even after trying all three of them, I honestly feel like I prefer the strike pack. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you in a future video.